This month, we have a post from Ziggy Played, which is a list of things that made them stop wanting to die that required little to no effort. They said, change the color used to highlight text on your laptop, move the pictures on your wall, stack whatever clutter is in your room into piles, even if you don't have time to clean it all, slightly vary your commute, even just by one street, Change where you sit and scroll aimlessly on your phone, even if it's only to the chair in your room instead of your bed. Drink water or juice out of a wine glass in the morning because nothing is real. Shower with the lights off, without music. Buy $3 flowers. They look bad next to the more expensive ones, but they look so good in your room. Start typing things you don't post into your notes. Your thoughts can be worth documenting, even if you don't deem them worth sharing. Wake up super early, just once. You don't have to make it a habit, it's just extra satisfying going to bed that night. Listen to the entirety of your favourite album from 2015. And then Sander Studies added, Almost all of these are about variety. Humans need stimulation. We need enrichment. We literally cannot do the same thing every day. The other day I was feeling miserable, so I hopped on a bus and rode it all the way back to where I'd started. And my brain, which had finally had some proper stimulation via new environments, we're suddenly ready to go again. This is why taking walks, drives, and trying new hobbies are good for you. Don't turn yourself into a sad zoo animal. You need some pumpkins to roll around in your enclosure. This post is useful, but it's even more relevant now that we are all at home more. Things that you normally do change one small aspect or find things that are physically stimulating, like feeling the strong breeze from the window when you're in a car, letting yourself feel rain on your face, your hands, your arms. Painting a piece of paper or a canvas with coloured circles of your choice. Something different for a short amount of time. Maybe even cutting out some coloured squares and putting them on your wall in a way that you want. Putting cut up pieces of fruit in your water bottle. Listening to your music while lying on the floor instead of your bed. There's many ways to create variation, some of which require no extra effort. Make a list of things that you could change up in your life and keep adding to it every time you think of something new. And are you still getting regular sunlight? If your blinds are closed all day and you're in a dark cocoon for most of your time, that will affect how you feel about things throughout your days. Make sure things are bright and that you're getting a good dose of sunlight, even if you don't like it. Because you're important and you need to take care of yourself. Until next time. Bye.